News 25 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing. Specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight, several homes burned to the ground in a mobile home park, and a local car dealership is offering a reward for a stolen vehicle. News 25 starts now. This is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 25, local coverage you can count on. And fire rages through a Northside trailer park. It's Wednesday, August 21st on Deanna O'Donnell. Several homes inside a park were destroyed yesterday off Simpkins Road. Yes, afternoon we were clearing another unrelated call and a smoke column was developing just north of our location. At the same time, we were dispatched a report of a vehicle fire. As crews were responding, it was upgraded to a trailer fire and eventually, just before our arrival, it was upgraded to multiple structures on fire. Crews arrived to find multiple trailers within an RV park in close proximity to each other were well involved in fire, numerous exposures. Uh, there was people fleeing the area. There was evacuations on the way by the sheriff's office. Numerous vehicles and other personal property stored. And uh, so we had our challenges in the early stages. Crews uh, laid a supply line in from the close hydrant, which was very fortunate for us that we had that water supply. Commenced what we call a master stream operation, defensive, uh, committing people to the inside. Uh, large amounts of water in a short period of time quickly controlled the fire and also protected the other nearby exposures. There was some animal recoveries going on as well as there was an initial report that a child might be in one of the exposure trailers. Uh, we prepared for a rescue assignment. We found that that wasn't the case, that the child was out of the trailer and so we re resumed and we focused back on our suppression effort. It appears to be accidental in nature, possibly related to use of a welder. At this point, the Red Cross has not been notified. Um, they indicated that there was other things that they were going to be working on as far as the residency, so we haven't had a request for it. And a motorhome has been taken from an RV lot here in town. There's a reward being offered for the information leading to the suspect in this case. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued a press release regarding a stolen vehicle. According to the report on July 14, a 2012 Forest River Wildwood trailer was stolen from the Saida Trudeau auto dealership here in Peru. They say that the owner, Don Trudeau, purchased the trailer at auction. He transported it to Country Roads RV lot on Highway 160. The next day when he returned on July 15th, the RV was missing. The trailer is valued at $13,000. If you have any information about this theft, you can contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. You can even email them at sheriff at co.nye.nv.us. You can remain anonymous. Saida Trudeau is offering a $5,000 reward to anyone with information leading to a conviction. The trailer is described as a single wide with a pop-out. It is white with the word Wildwood and black designs. Well, the Nye County Sheriff's Office is looking for a couple wanted suspects. The first one is described as William Joseph Tolt. Tolt is five, 50 years old, 5 foot 8 inches tall, 185 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. Tolt is facing charges of domestic battery with a deadly weapon and failure to appear for a charge of animal at large. If you have any information, you're urged to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. Please say, do not attempt to apprehend this person yourself. Once again, the number you can call, 775-751-7000. And of course, you can remain anonymous. They're also looking for a wanted suspect by the name of Nicholas Narvek Romero Terrazas. Romero Terrazas is described as 32 years old, 5 foot 5 inches tall, 170 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. Romero Terrazas is facing charges of failure to appear for the third DUI and failure to appear for unlawful possession of fireworks. If you have any information about this suspect, you can contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office once again, 775 751 7,000.
and News 25 will return right after this break. This segment of the news is brought to you by Pahrump Cardiology, located at 1397 South Loop Road in Pahrump, Nevada. Call 775-210-8333 for an appointment. Dr. Tali Eric, proudly serving Pahrump since 2005. And welcome back to News 25. Well, luxury items could see a decline in sales if protests continue. Angela Miles explains. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Break. Topping our news, it's high summer and the heat is on for investors and traders awaiting clues about the next moves by central bankers worldwide, including the U.S. Fed. Today, the Fed minutes will be released, which could reveal what the Federal Reserve policymakers are thinking about future rate cuts. On Friday, Chairman Jerome Powell will deliver his keynote speech at the Fed's annual gathering in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And the G7 summit is set for Saturday in southwest France. The economic effect of the Hong Kong protests continues. According to analysts, sales of luxury brands such as Cartier watches are slipping. If the protests persist, luxury brand sales in Hong Kong could decline as much as 60%. Coach has about a 4% sales exposure to that area. To find out where you can see us every day, go to businessfirstam.com. Thanks so much, Angela. Well, the courts are busy lately with a full calendar of cases. Here's Unette Gentry to fill us in. In this week's court report, a criminal complaint has now been filed in Beatty Justice Court against owners of the now-closed Northwest Academy Boarding School in Amargosa. The formal arraignment that was scheduled for Monday was waived for Marcel Chapuis and his wife, Patricia Chapuis. The couple was arrested in Las Vegas connected to charges of allowing child abuse or neglect. Those allegations stemmed from an investigation into the school's tap water, which which officials say contained high levels of arsenic, which is poisonous and could cause cancer. Investigators determined that Northwest Academy's water had been contaminated for more than two years. Former teacher Caleb Hill was arrested in an unrelated incident also involving then students at Northwest Academy. And Hill, according to his arrest report, left one student with bruising and another with a bloody nose. Both the Chapuis and Hill now have proceedings scheduled in Beatty Court on September 9th. Notably, Hill is scheduled for an arraignment that day, but Beatty Court clerks say no criminal complaint has been filed against Hill yet. Michael Wilson's trial has now been continued to March 2020. During Wilson's calendar call, he appeared while in custody, and the court noted the public defender change since Ronnie Boscovich now represents Wilson. Consequently, it was noted that the new public defender just received the case, so defense addresses the court and needs time for discovery and to prepare. The state is ready to move forward, but does understand the need for a continuance. Finally, the court questions Wilson, who states that he is in fact asking for a continuance. The court has now scheduled Wilson's trial for March 23rd through 27th then March 31st through April 3rd and April 13th through 17th with a calendar call on February 21st, 2020. Wilson's brother, brother Dakota Saldivar, is scheduled to be in district court this Friday for his calendar call. The two Pahrump teens were arrested after they admitted to gruesomely stabbing and killing their mother, Dawn Leibig. Tony Marie DeAngelis will also be back in court this Friday after her sentencing was continued again. DeAngelis is the area woman who was arrested after an anonymous tip to police about an auto versus pedestrian hit and run accident that severely injured a bicyclist at Game Bird and Unicorn. During DeAngelis' latest court proceeding, the victim did not show up and the state is not positive 
positive whether he was notified or not. Parole and probation states the victim was present at the last hearing when the matter was continued. The court now continues DeAngelis' sentencing to August 23rd to contact the victim. Finally, defense moves to remove the defendant from drug court programs, but the court denies that motion. That hit and run victim suffered numerous injuries, and reportedly, DeAngelis' insurance company is negotiating paying some costs. Also recently in court, Michael Anthony Horn, the area man sentenced in district court to five years probation connected to the charges of oppression under color of office, misconduct of public officer, theft against person over 60, theft, possession of a controlled substance, and fraudulent appropriation of property. Horn had a status check regarding completion of probation. Parole and probation states that the probation was to expire April 23, 2019. And Horn was honorably discharged from probation. But the court clerks say that that discharge has not been filed and is not in the system. PNP will request that discharge again, so Horn will be released. The probation officer on this case was ordered to get the paperwork in by this Monday. And Horn Horn will have another status check this Friday. This has been your court report. I'm Unette Gentry for News 25. Fires are raging at a record rate in Brazil's Amazon rainforest, and scientists warn that it could strike a devastating blow to the fight against climate change. The fires are burning at the highest rate since the National Institute for Space Research began tracking them in 2013. There have been almost 73,000 fires in Brazil this year alone, with more than half in the Amazon region. That's more than an 80% increase compared with the same period last year. The Amazon is often referred to as the planet's lungs, producing 20% of the oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere. It's considered vital in slowing global warming, and it is home to an uncountable species of fauna and flora. Roughly half the size of the United States, it is the largest rainforest on the planet. News 25 will return right after this break. You're watching KPBM News 25. Local coverage you can count on. Well, the Board of County Commissioners had on their agenda yesterday an item to transfer property to the Northern Nye County Hospital District. The certain lease dated May 11, 2016, between Nye County, a political subdivision of the state of Nevada, and Renown Health, a domestic nonprofit corporation for property located at 825 South Main Street, more particularly described as assessor parcel number 008-261-56, Township 2 North, Range 42 East, Section 1, F number 852136, P.1A, Nevada. Mr. Chairman, I do have a motion prepared for this one as well. I'd like to make a motion to approve an assignment of the lease to the, Nye County, the Northern Nye County Hospital District regarding a certain lease agreement between Nye County and Re Renown Health, contingent upon all terms and conditions being accepted by the Northern Nye County Hospital District. Second. Second. I have a motion. I have a motion and a second to approve an assignment of lease to the Northern Nye County Hospital District. Further discussion? Public comment? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Nay. Four to mm. one. Getting better than three to two. Okay. Number 33. Well, let's go to Veronica De La Rosa to give you the latest happening in our schools. Hi, I'm Veronica De La Rosa, and this is your student news. Nye County students, this week, Pern Valley High School has their first football game of the season. It will be held in the PVHS football field against Lowry High School. Junior Varsity will be playing at 4.30 p.m. and Varsity will be playing at 7 p.m. It's $3 for student entry and $5 for adults. So please go and support our team. The WIOA Youth Words Program assists youth in gaining an educational degree. It also helps students gain long-term employment. They do educational services, work readiness training, youth development, and give you connections to the community. For more information, contact 
Andrew Gonzalez at 775-727-9970 or Monique Fisher at 775-537-2323. Improv Club is having their first meeting tomorrow, August 22nd, in the auditorium. It will be held from 2.30 p.m. to 4. <laughs> Please go if you wish to do improv. This has been Veronica De La Rosa with your student news. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Learner and Row Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Well, let's take a look outside on that weather cam and see what our current conditions are. Beautiful skies. Looks pretty much like it's been looking every single day out there with uh, no clouds. We're going to find out more with our forecast with Michael Donahue right after this break. News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee, the dollop of sour cream on your burrito, the melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Hello and welcome back to News 25. I'm Michael Don here with today's weather. In Las Vegas, we had a high of 109 degrees with a low of 78. Death Valley at 116 with a low of 84. 105 with a low of 70 in Amargosa. 101 with a low of 65 in Beatty. 93.58 in Goldfield. Tonopah at 90.57. Carson City at 94.65. 96.60 in Fallon. And finally in Fernley, we have a high of 95 and a low of 61 degrees. Now today in Pahrump, we had nice sunny skies. Our high today was 105 degrees. Winds coming out of the south-southwest at 11 miles per hour. Our humidity at 7% and our sunrise at 6.06 .06 this morning. And for tonight, it's currently 102 degrees outside with clear skies. Our low tonight is expected to be 72 degrees. Winds coming out of the east-southeast at 7 miles per hour. 10% for our humidity and our sunset at 7.26 tonight. Now looking ahead to our seven-day, it's stayed pretty consistent this week. We're still going to see some nice sunny skies all week long, with the exception, with the exception of some clouds this Thursday. Temperature-wise, also not too many changes. We're just going to be hanging out in those low hundreds, just between 101 and 104 degrees, with our overnights just chilling out in those low to mid-70s, just between 72 and 77 degrees. So now with that, we're going to throw it back to the desk with Deanna. Thank you so much, Michael. Well, we want to remind everybody of several things. Uh, the Pahrump Fall Festival will be held September 26th through the 29th at Petrick Park. Uh, we'll have lots of entertainment, of course, on the stage. I'll be emceeing. Davis Amusements will be there with all their carnival rides. We have a rodeo, a parade on Saturday morning, September 28th from 9 a.m. And if you want to join the parade, you just need to send in your parade applications to the Pahrump Valley Chamber of Commerce. You can even find out more by going online to Pahrump Valley Chamber of Commerce and finding out all the details of the Pahrump Fall Festival. Also, the neighborhood cleanup will be happening on August 31st. We are going to be meeting at the Bob Rood Community Center at 9 a.m. It's going to be from 9 until noon. We're looking for as many people as possible to join the neighborhood cleanup. You can give me a call here, 775-727-9400, extension 201, or even better yet, you can go onto the neighborhood cleanup's Facebook page and even message me to get involved and help clean up in time for fall festival. We're also having a food drive this Saturday for the VFW Food Bank and the Food for Thought program that will be from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. right in front of Walmart there we're going to help feed those veterans and children in our community come and donate and of course we're looking for volunteers to help out collecting the food donations as well and don't forget that taco fest will be october 12th in the calvada i we are looking for contestants right now so if you have a business or organization or even to the schools any of the teams uh, principals we're looking for anybody to compete against each other for the best taco here in town you need to uh, go on to the prompt Taco Fest Facebook page. You can message us. You can also go to Quality Signs or email Quality Signs at sales at quality signs nv.com. You can even give them a call at 775 537 5575 to get your application in now for that Pahrump Taco Fest. And we'll see you in the Calvada Eye. That's going to be held from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of News 25. I'm Deanna O'Donnell from all of us here at KPVM TV and Ace Country Radio. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.